Welcome back to Body Guards Bob Q. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. It's fall around here, and you know what that means? It's football season. You know what football season means? Game day food. We're gonna be doing up an awesome chili. I'm gonna show you how to make it. It contains my three favorite B lettered words beef, bacon, and beer. There's also a fourth one, but it's a family show, so we're gonna leave that one out. You ready to do this? Let's go! All right, let's get this chili rolling. I got the six quart large Dutch enamel heated up. We got four slices of thick cut bacon. Just chopped it up a little bit here. I'm gonna cook this down here. I wanna just render some of that bacon grease. Once we get it rendered down, I'll bring you right back. All right, we got our bacon rendered down. I pulled it out. I left about two tablespoons of the bacon grease in there. We're gonna come back now with our um, chuck that we chopped up here and also our sirloin tips. We're going little batches at a time. Just gonna brown them off a little bit. You don't wanna overcrowd it. We're like on a medium low heat. We want to get that bottom crust off this pan here. That's some flavor. A quick browning. Doom and batches. I'm going to get these all browned up. We'll bring it back for the next step. All right, we got our beef all browned up. Back together again, all in a pan. I'm going to be adding about two cups of beef broth here. which is about half of this container. Yeah, right about there. I'm gonna get this going up here. I want this to come to a boil. We're gonna let it boil for a few. I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer and I'm gonna let it cook for about another 30 minutes. And then I'll bring it back when we're ready to give our first spice dump into this bad boy. All right, we're back. It's been about a half hour or so. We're gonna start getting our first dump running in here. We got one tablespoon of ancho chili powder, one tablespoon of a dark chili powder. If you don't have ancho chili powder, you can just use all regular chili powder. But this is gonna bring us like an earthy and give us a nice color. We got one tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Get it all in there. I got a couple of jalapenos from the garden. I just cut a couple of slits in them. They're going in whole. One 14 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes. I mashed them up. We're gonna go with about half of this right now. It's looking good. One small onion diced up. Two cloves of garlic that I ran through the garlic press. Beef consomme. I want half a can right now. It's pretty much condensed down like a uh, stock. And we're gonna go with one 12 ounce beer of your choice. This is not my choice. I would have put Budweiser in it, but I don't have it, so I'm gonna use this stuff here. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get that all going in there. We're also gonna add one packet of Goya Saison with a magic and an envelope here. Just gonna give this a nice mix. We'll get it up to a simmer. Once it hits a simmer, we'll drop it down, lit it, and let it run for about another 20 to 25 minutes or so. All right, we've been simmering for about 25 minutes or so. Smelling awesome. All these flavors right now are gonna start sucking into this meat. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna shut the stove off 
Toss the lid back on it, push it off the heat, and just let it sit there for about an hour. All right, we're back. It's been about an hour or so. We're gonna bring our chili back up to a simmer. I got a little head start here. No need for you to watch me turning it on. And now we're gonna add our second dump. The second dump we're going with two tablespoons of dark chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, half of a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder. Back in. We're layering flavors here, people. Our bacon, back in. I'm gonna stir this all around here. It smells amazing. Now we're just gonna cook this down for probably for about another 20 minutes. We're gonna simmer it. We're gonna start thickening up. If you're thin at this point here, you can add a little bit of beef broth into it, but we're fine. I'm just gonna leave this uncovered now, simmer. 20 minutes or so, we'll bring it back for dump number three. All right, 20 minutes has gone by. You can see we've thickened up nicely here. If it's too thin at this point, you can always add a little bit more beef broth, but we're coming back. But our third dump, it's gonna have the rest of that beef consomme. The rest of the can of tomatoes that we smashed up there. Go with about a teaspoon of better than bouillon chicken one. That in there. And we're going with a little bit more of our spices there. We got half a, half a teaspoon this time, sorry, half a tablespoon of the dark chili powder half a tablespoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and onion powder. Give it a mix, we're gonna let this go for 10 minutes. And we're gonna plate it up. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a taste here right now. Pretty damn good. Those flavors right there are popping. I'm gonna add just a little touch of maple syrup here. It's gonna help round this out. Maybe about a tablespoon or so. That's optional. You could use brown sugar if you wanted to. If you wanna get a little bit more heat, you get some jalapeno powder, fire it on in. Don't be shy, it's, it's chili. You can make it however you want. So I'm gonna let this go for 10 more minutes. I'll pull it off, let it rest for a few minutes. We'll bring it back when we're playing up. All right, we're back and we are plated it up. We just hit it with a little bit of cheddar some pickled jalapenos. You can throw some sour cream on here if you want. You got some saltines there on the side. Let's give this one a try. Oh man. The flavor of that chili right there is so deep and so intense. Just by using just that one can of those tomatoes there, man, we'll go in it again. Let's get a little cheese on this one. The layers of those flavors, they are popping. Layer upon layer. Those dumps, that's how you're gonna do it. Layer it, dump it, cook a little longer. Layer again, a little bit more. Keep going and going. This stuff right here is rocking, I'll tell you that right now. This is one of the better chilies. This is the second time that I made this one. Just change things around. This one, pretty simple to do, it's just, time consuming of waiting. You're pretty much a waiting game. Not really hard at all. Use whatever beer you want. I don't drink that stuff there. I drink the blue tea. That's what was in the fridge. That's what went in. 
So real simple, game day food, anytime food, weekend food, comfort food. You gotta give this one a shot. Thanks for watching, stay safe.